The Great Barrier Reef is the world's largest coral reef and one of the seven wonders of the world. It is made up of over 2,900 individual reefs, 900 islands, and covers an area of 133,000 square miles. That is, that is about twice the size of Florida. Living within these reefs and islands, there are more than 1,500 species of fish and over 2,000 known plant species. All of these plants and animals affect each other's survival, home, and food. The Great Barrier Reef is an amazing, beautiful, and exotic place in Australia with thousands of organisms living and growing there. Living among the corals of the Great Barrier Reef are 125 species of shark. One of the most fam famous being the tiger shark, which can grow up to 5 meters long and weigh up to 1,400 pounds. They are opportun opportunistic predators, which means they eat anything from fish to birds. Tiger sharks are also the second deadliest sharks to humans. Another interesting animal that lives in the shallows of the Great Barrier Reef is the dugong. The world's largest populations of dugongs live here. They grow up to 3 meters long and weigh up to 1,100 pounds. The dugong is a very strange creature. Although they have the tail of a whale and the body of a manatee, they are actually more closely related to an elephant than any other marine mammal. One of the world's most well-known marine mammals is the sea turtle. There are six different species of sea turtles living in the Great Barrier Reef. The leatherback, the green, hawksbill, loggerhead, flatback, and olive ridley. When a sea turtle lays their eggs in the sand, the temperature of the eggs determines the gender of the hatchling. When the eggs hatch, they crawl to the water and the waves carry them out to sea. If the eggs hatch at night, the turtle will follow the moonlight to, and it will direct them to the sea. If the eggs hatch, or the sea turtle's diet includes crabs, jellyfish, seagrass, and algae. The Great Barrier Reef inhabits 15 of the 60 known species of seagrasses that attract animals <coughs> like the sea turtle. Seagrasses are flowering plants that grow in the depths and shallows. They cover about 13% of the Great Barrier Reef. The seagrass, like seagrass, there are many different species of seaweed and algae growing in the reef. There are 500 different species of seaweed and algae, the deadliest being the calerba, which is poisonous to grazing animals and therefore can survive without being eaten. There are five different colors of algae, blue, green, red, brown, and golden. The most common being the green algae, which grows among the coral. The reef's coral is by far the most important part of this ecosystem. There are 400 species of coral that make up the Great Barrier Reef, and over 14% of the reef's area. One interesting type of coral is the brain coral. It extends its tentacles at night and grabs the small, small organisms to feed on. Coral is the home to thousands of plants and animals. It is also the only living organism that you can see from space. It protects and provides shelter for all of the organisms living among the reef. In some cases, coral can even be food for some of these organisms. The food chain for the Great Barrier Reef is morphed and controlled by all of its organisms living in the reef. Each animal or plant has a specific role that keeps the ecosystem balanced. For example, if the dugong population increases, then it will lower the kelp population and potentially eliminate it entirely. This will cause the sea urchins to die because of the lack of kelp for them to eat. This will affect all other organisms in the food chain. A small change in the food chain can cause the whole ecosystem to collapse. This is why invasive species cause so much damage to areas like the reef. Invasive species are non-native species that move into a new area like the reef and take over the native the native species home and eat the organisms there.
This causes the food chain to become unbalanced and eliminate native species. The Great Bear Reef is home to thousands of beautiful and exotic organisms that keep the reef reef's ecosystem growing and by balancing each other and creating new life. These different species all play important and different roles that help prosper the reef and keep their home amazing and perfect. Thank you. Good job, Megan.